Hi, Freddie here again with my lovely Scratch desktop. And a couple of weeks ago, I did a video about Wish and how I'd ordered a bunch of stuff and it included the useless memory sticks, the totally knackered light, the webcam, which doesn't, well, it works, but it's really, really old and out of date, and the beautiful but useless microphone of buzziness. Never mind the quality, look how shiny it is. Isn't that great? Um, and I promised at the time that I would do another video about some things I'd ordered which weren't so terrible. So here we are. Now, this is item number one. Um, a PSP-looking game console which promised a thousand games on it. Now, the reason why I think... I've got this quite uh, accurately to its description. It's because it's actually illegal. All these games are pirated. Um, so that's my direction I'm thinking on Wish, but I'll expand on that later. Anyway, let's open the box. Um, you can see the quality of the box already. We've got a very nice um, AV cable for plugging into your TV. If you want to use a handheld device on a TV for some reason. Um, we've got headphones. I haven't tried them, but I'm betting they're the equivalent of the microphone. Buzzy and horrible. The bag for them. And the console itself. Um, there was also a charger in here because I've charged it up. Oh, look at how dusty it's gotten. Wipe it on my t-shirt. It's what t-shirts are for. Um, Now I charged it up beforehand, so it should come on. Here we go. What's the quality of the picture like? That is not bad at all. Um, what this console seems to have is a bunch of arcade ROMs and a bunch of um, Game Boy Advance and NES ROMs on it. Um, if I navigate through to games, inner games, directory list. So we seem to have a bunch of zip files here, uh, which seems to be arcade drums. Let's go restart. Please wait. Um, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, which is actually a game I absolutely adore. Um, I loved that in the arcade. Insert coin. How do we insert coins? Um, start? <laughs> yes, let's go for the cleavage heavy character. And as you can see, it's running catalogs and dinosaurs. Okay, how do you pick stuff up? Uh, apparently, you don't pick stuff up. Oh well. Go, go. Um, if I go back. Is there another way back? Haha, <laughs> there we go. Fatal Fury, Final Fight, various versions. Um, Ghouls and Ghosts, I guess that one is. Knights of the Round. Again, a game I love. I'm assuming it is. I'm pretty sure it is. You can see it's the ROMs, yeah, it's Knights of the Round. I spent so much money on this in the back in the day. So having a little handheld version of it, definitely worth the 25 quid I spent on this. Um, I assumed this was a little speaker, but it's actually a little thumbstick, keypad.
Now, you may be noticing that there's a certain type of game that seems to do quite well. Alright, let's go back. But, it claims to have a thousand games on it. Um, Strider there. Oh, and I thought there were some Street Fighters on here. Don't see them. Anyway. We've got external games. Because you can connect this to your PC as well as to a charger through the socket here. And you can copy files across to it. So... Um, I copied some ROMs across. Um, these are arcade ROMs, which do do. Please wait. Invalid file format. So I don't know quite how to copy ROMs across to it yet, but I copied across a couple of NES games, which seem to work absolutely fine. Um, yeah, I'd never had a NES, so I'm not sure how good the games are. I went and copied across a bunch of old ROMs, because I didn't know what they were like. Um, it came included with some games. Here we go, here's some Street Fighter. Uh, Super Street Fighter. Start. From the angle I'm holding it at for it to show up on the camera, I cannot see the difference in my health bar there. So that was luck. Um, if I keep going back, we've also got a few wee things. Um, oops. No, we've got no video here. Did we have video built in to the last one? Video. Sorry, I'm not holding this very straight. It's difficult to use, hold my hands at this height instead of way down here at the same time. What's this? It's going to be some terrible music video, as they always are. Now, I'm sure you can hear how bad the quality of sound is. Um, do we have volume controls? The tiny wee speakers, I'm sure. Ah, ah, it won't go away. Oh, I'll switch it off for a moment. Ah! Um, what we got here? So the back's designed to look like a PSP, it's got a small camera, 10 megapixel it claims to be, I don't think it's going to be that, and we've got microphone socket it claims to be there, no that's just the microphone, headphones, AV out there, you've got standard USB there, no, no idea what that is. Looks like some kind of ROM socket, maybe an SD card. Don't think I want to put anything in that tiny little hole and lose it forever. But yes, generally I was quite impressed with this. For It cost me about £25. I think I started to mention before and then forgot. And for £25 for a tiny wee console with a charger, the battery's not great, but it does last maybe an hour. Um, which isn't bad, and it looks quite attractive. Maybe I should peel this off. Oh, 
probably. Ah. There's just something so satisfying about that. That should be illegal. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad week on Soul. Um, if I can work out how to put arcade ROMs on it, it'll be absolutely brilliant. Oh, have I killed it? Oh, no. Maybe I was just being impatient with it before. But yeah, as I said, I paid sort of £25 for it. It comes with a bunch of games on there. Some really nice ones which I would play. Other ones um, I wouldn't play. But I can see the use of this. This is kind of fun. Um, let's have a look. Crash Bandicoot of some kind. Crash Bandicoot, the huge something. Anybody recognize this? PlayStation 1 game, maybe? The Huge Adventure. I remember playing... Can I turn the volume down? I remember playing Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation 1 with my oldest son when he was a kid. How much intro sequence is there here to skip through? Alright, so it's a sort of platform. Um, I seem to remember Crash Bandicoot being kind of 3D. We're not running into the map and running around. It's been too long. Can I land on this? Yeah, it bounces me. Anyway, as I said, it's not a bad Wii console. It doesn't look too terrible. It feels a bit cheap and plasticky. But again, 25 quid. I'm not complaining too much about that. Um, one of the other purchases, um, very much on the same. It arrived in this wonderful bag. It, it didn't get a fancy box. Or any instructions whatsoever. But here we go. Let me get it the right way up and wipe the dust off it. Not that my house is incredibly dusty. Okay. Uh, another wee console. Okay. Now, it is virtually impossible to play the game this way. Not that I am any kind of arcade gamer anyway. It pauses. Can I reset? The title music's terrible. We've got Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Millipede, Tetris, Arkanoid, Super Mario, Gallagher 1942, and more games. Okay, let's let's have a look at more games first. Maybe. Oh, I keep forgetting it's SP for single player. You've got to press. We have 246 terrible, terrible games here. I'm guessing they're all on one of these old cartridges. Tetris Bobble. F1 Race. SP. Keep forgetting that's the key. Ah, the height of virtual reality. I slowly drift outside. 
Is there a gear up or something I'm supposed to be pressing? Oh, I just switched into high gear. And I blew up. Oh, well. Ah, ah, not that music. Where's the speaker so I can cover it up? Nah. But yeah, it's again quite nice. It's less nice than the other one, but again, this was only £10. Um, if I turn it off a moment, it has virtually no controls apart from on the front face and on off switch. Um, it's not rechargeable like the other one. It takes three batteries. As you can see, I've been dredging through remote controls for batteries. Um, two speaker grills on there, but it was getting mute when I just covered this one, so I'm guessing there is absolutely nothing behind that one. But it's light, it's plasticky, and for a tenner, what can you expect? But it comes with 200-odd games. Probably most of them the same, but it's difficult to moan about a lot. Because it comes, because it takes um, treble A's, it's easy enough to get treble A rechargeables, slap them in. I think you could get a fair amount of fun out of this. Um, but the reason why I think Wish has been able to provide this and this one, um, because it's pirated games. I think Wish isn't very good if you're trying to buy things that you would be able to buy other places. Oh, shine my light. Um, if you were to buy or try to get hold of these, they're not legitimately available. They're not available in the shops. Whereas webcams... Tiny microphones, USB sticks and lights, you can buy in legitimate places. So why would they try and sell them cheaper? Because it would be really easy to get full price for them. Sell them on eBay, wherever. Although I imagine these kind of things are available on eBay too. I've never looked. Um, but I think basically if you're trying to buy stuff which is illegal because it's got pirate ROMs on it or for whatever reason, Wish probably is pretty good. But if you're trying to buy legitimate things, then you're probably out of luck. Uh, you'll be able to get them cheaper elsewhere. I was actually in Homebase B&Q, one of the garden stores the other day, and spotted these actually two for a pound, whereas I paid one pound and got one. So it's actually cheaper to go out and legitimately buy them. Anyway, Wish might not be trash after all. It might be quite good for buying these, these stupid Wii consoles. I know there's a couple of others which plug into the TV and things. Um, but yeah, I actually really like this. For 25 quid, I'm quite glad I bought it. It's obviously showing up every bit of dirt at the moment and every fingerprint. If the FBI want to take my fingerprint, they can probably get it from there. Um, but yeah, wish might not be trash. <laughs>